Joker from Heaven on another video and Persona 5 Scramble is the little brother essentially to Persona 5 the Royal. Originally, I think a lot of us thought this was going to be like some kind of hack and slash piece of garbage uh, game. I was just going to get a quick buck. Uh, very reminiscent of um, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Impact, I believe, the PSP game, where the plot was very minimal uh, and there wasn't much to the effect. But we have come to find out that this is a video that, a game that essentially has its own story um, separate of Persona 5, essentially a, a spiritual successor. Uh, obviously, not, probably not going to be very much longer than Persona 5, if at all, but any new Persona 5 storyline is all thing we need. And, uh, yeah, um, so we're going to watch a couple of videos, see how this pans out. And, um, so this is in Japan, or Japanese, my bad. This game is set to come, I believe, in September or October in Japan. So it definitely won't be until 2021 at that point. But, I mean, we're getting the good one early. And Nintendo's getting this later, so who cares? <laughs> okay, I think I've seen some of this to an effect. This is my first time watching any trailers that wasn't at E3 uh, last year. But I think that some of this might be a recycled material, possibly. There are a couple of channels that are more like dedicated towards translating kanji and uh, Japanese into English, but this is not one of those. It looks very similar to actual Persona 5. It just doesn't have the shadow, the turn-based mechanic. I like the graphics. I mean, for this to be Switch-centric, or at least Switch... Um, Thought of with the Switch in mind, it looks pretty good. I mean, I guess Persona 5 was in a graphic intensive game anyway, but. I had to, had to make sure I was recording there. So that was um, Makoto, right? I like what they're doing with the battling. I mean, the fighting is interesting. We're seeing a lot more interaction with the actual environment and the people around. I think I've seen in any other Persona. I mean, they're literally... The stories revolved around some of these people, it seems. And usually, I mean, the past is always about the pro the party and the protagonist, you know. This is interesting. That's really interesting. I don't know if they plan on doing that. They have a different version of all that attacks, but it still is cool. Maybe even cooler. I think... Do I prefer this to turn-based mechanic? I don't know. I'd have to see... I'd have to play with it and see how it evolves after a while before I say this is better than turn-based mechanic. It definitely looks more interactive, of course. A uh, new fusion mechanic, or at least fusion... How should I say? Design? Graphics? They definitely changed a lot around. This feels like a new game. Like, a, this... Persona 5 Royal doesn't look like a new game. This is like a genuinely new game. You could persuade me that this is preferable to Persona 5 for Royal. Just based off of what I'm saying. P5 Scramble. You see, with how much they tease the 2 in this, it really does feel like a spiritual successor to Persona 5. This cop seems to have a lot of importance in this. I think he's a cop. I'm not sure. Maybe a student. Two 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 twenty two twenty. Wait. What? Hold up. I thought this came out in October. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. This... I thought this came out like in October or something. Maybe I was smoking weenus. February twenty two thousand twenty. Huh. What game comes out in Persona? Okay. Hold up. I gotta see something. Oh, I got it switched up. Oh, no. So, Persona 5 Royal comes out in October. This came out in October 31st, 2019. Okay, okay, I, I see. I, I got my numbers messed up. So, this game comes out March 31st. 
And then this game comes out February to us. Okay, but this is still just for Japan, so we won't get this. We probably still won't get this until, like, at the earliest to be, like, November. If they intend on doing it all this year. I can see them not doing it all this year either way, but that's about a six-month turnaround from um, from October to March for Royal. So we could get it this year. It's possible. I think I'd rather space it out, but if you think about the fact they've dropped, what? So October is the 10th. February is the, sec is the second month, so that's four months. They're dropping f two Persona games in four months for Japan. So we could. I don't think saturation is much of a problem in their mind. Uh, and this is the opening animated. If you've seen any Persona game, they come with these like little kind of anime intros. They introduce them by their actual like the the uh, the names of the thieves. That's interesting. That's Morgana. I guess human Morgana isn't a um, a factor in this game. It, it it seems to me that the two paths that. Persona 5 Royal and Persona 5 Strambler are going into are separate from each other because Katsumi isn't in a uh, scramble and Human Morgana isn't in a scramble. And obviously, like, none of this is is in a uh, Royal. This guy is very important. Very important, it seems. I wonder if they'll have Nijima in this game. Sai, not Makoto, obviously. I'd be very interested to see if they have uh, Sai Nijima because Sai Nijima is so important in Royal because she's a confidant now, right? But, like, it, I don't. I think they have confidants in this game. I'm not sure. I hadn't checked to see, but I think they do have confidants in this. Oh, so they gave him a confidant. Okay, I mean, uh, a persona. Okay, so that's their, I guess that's their answer to Katsumi, huh? That's interesting. And I haven't seen any Akechi, so they don't plan on running with Akechi in here. I guess Akechi's, Akechi's dead, like, I'm pretty sure, like, even in Persona 5 rule, Akechi's dead. So I suppose that makes sense that um that he won't be there. Uh let's watch one I don't know, I wanna watch a reaction video. Alright, let's let me just see some of I don't think y'all can hear what I'm hearing. I kinda just wanna hear what he's going about. I forgot about the dancing games that came like last year. There's a lot of Persona 5 material out there. All right, let's switch a little bit. Kind of understand what I'm saying so far. All right, so his 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 uh premise is that the additional material and mechanics and all that will make the game feel more dragged out, which I mean is very realistic. So, I mean, the Persona Five original is very dragged out. It is very dragged out at times, and this this does seem like the game that is a little bit more concise, you know. And I mean, if you think about it, so Persona 5 Royal is essentially a remaster that kind of adds, it's like Persona 4 Golden. It's telling the same story, it's just adding 
a little bit more niches to it. How, how should I say? Persona 5 Scramble is something new. So to that effect, I would be more pleased to see how that game pans out. Uh, I'd, I'd like to watch more videos on this, but I really don't know where to go for that. Like, I don't know the right avenue. I guess I could have watched the English subs, but um, that'll be all for this video. I'll come back and try to, maybe something big comes out from this point on, I'll come back and watch something. But uh, Persona 5 Scramble does look like an excellent game, and I hope that it succeeds. Um, and I'll definitely be copying it as soon as it comes out. I love that kind of, not arena fighter, but landscape fighter. Um, I liked it in JoJo's, um, the Naruto game. It kind of worked for that. Uh, I think Sagas, Dragon Ball Z Sagas, is a comparison to that type of fighter. So it works in certain instances. But yeah, I hope you enjoy and uh, peace.